Oh, jeez. Of all things I could be eating on this special day. I went ahead and grabbed a MRE Mini Number 6 Beef Frankfurters. They brought the Four Fingers of Death back in 1993. It was out of service for good reason from 1988 to 92. Not really sure why they brought them back. I guess hot dogs were on sale that day. Pack of crackers. I wish they were salted. That would have been more humane. MRE spoon. And a flameless ration heater. Look at that thing. The old school kind. Zesto Therm Incorporated. That doesn't sound cool at all. Zesto? What kind of name is that? Oh wow, look at that. You know these things are gonna be good. They have sodium erythrobate and sodium nitrate and sodium tripolyphosphate. Yeah, if you're having a hard time pronouncing it, chances are something you definitely want to eat at least once in your life. Whoa. What was that? Sugar-free fruit punch. Not bad. A Tabasco sauce that's not dried out. It looks pretty normal. And potato sticks. Oh, man. Here's the rest of it. Charms. Just get them out of here. And an accessory packet, A. Eh? Cheese spread. At least you get a freeze dried fruit. Nice. Listen to that. But then these charms, look at this. Oh, yeah, they're not going to be good. Cocoa beverage powder. Well, here we go. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Accessory packet A. Coffee, instant cream, substitute, sugar, salt, chewing gum, matches, toilet tissue, and hand cleaner. I'm gonna open it anywhere. Just to make sure. Mm. Kinda smell. It reminds me of the King Kong ride at Universal Studios before they took it out. Wet nap. Let's just dump the rest out. It takes too long. Ooh, taster's choice feels good. That's nice. And then the beef frankfurters. I just, yep, actually I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna save that box. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't save the box. Probably gonna save it here. All right, let's get sat on a tray. Nice, okay, let's go ahead and heat up this monstrosity. US 1993. Yeah, FRHs were issued separate in 92. This is your first year where... Wow, look at that thing. It's a hard cardboard... Hold on one sec. Let's just set this in. The Four Fingers Special. Ooh. Like, look at this. Like, dude. I don't know what Natick was thinking again. They should have given him a shelf-stable hot dog bun or two at least. Throw that box here. Let's add a little salt to it, just for good measure. You add a little extra sodium. That's mostly what's in this. Sodium, some magnesium, and iron, and it's like an accelerated rust. I don't know. I'm no scientist. It's MRE magic. Not bad. Now, let's pull that down a little bit. Hope this works. Probably won't. Ugh. All right, let's make some coffee. Actually, really go all out. Make a army mochaccino. Mm, I really love the way it smells. It never changes. It never does change that much, at least. I mean, sometimes it does. This time it didn't. this. Gosh, I hope this is okay. Let's see. Oh yeah. The goods are looking pretty good. Oh, knocked over that Tabasco.
Okay, and then the, actually, gosh, I really want to eat this fruit mix here. Let's, nice hiss. Vacuum seal was perfect. And for a little side snack thing that should have never gone away, 1995 was the last year. Look at that. That's beautiful. Potato sticks. These things are never good. Wait. What? No way. Hold on. Look at that fresh pack. Really kept it fresh. Look at these. They don't smell bad at all. That's crazy. Not even. They smell like nothing. Hold on. Let's eat a little. Mmm. Potato sticks. They're not rancid in the slightest bit. Mmm. Dude. Oh man, they're so salty and delicious. What do you pair them with though? I'm telling you, native food labs. The masters of shelf stable food. And this is like no exception. I can't even believe it. This thing is well stored. I mean, it did come out of a cool room in a basement. It was at like 60 degrees. Let's have a little sip of army mocha for celebration. Anyway, man, that's always so good. I haven't had an army mochaccino in a hot minute. Cheese spread. Man, that's nice and smooth. I mean, like, coffee with a really cheap, overly creamy, with tons of creamer and sugar, hot chocolate. It's like super shelf stable, and they throw all the B vitamins and whatnot in there. It really gives it a certain flavor. This cheese spread seems like it might feel like it might be okay. I'm really only about one use left for this. You just take a knife and you poke it like that. And then you give it a good squeeze. Whoa, look at that. It's actually all right looking and it's old. It's really a nice, spacious kind of. Isn't that satisfying? It just keeps going. It's fairly cystic. Oh, I mean, like, up, uh, up, oh, up. Uh, hmm. Dude, that's fine. Hold on. Oh, it looks like little ribbons. Um, oh, that's disgusting. I'm not eating any more of that. Hold on one sec. Mm, wait, just to make, hold on, let me make some fruit punch, it's crucial. Where's all the, is that all you get? That's a rip off. I'd be so mad. Oh, that cheese is disgusting, what am I doing? Hold on, I need water. Wow, what is that floaty stuff in there? It looks like strawberry seeds. Fruit, oh, I can smell that from here. Oh, that's... What? That stuff's gross. Maybe at the bottom too, like there's that bit that didn't really stir in. Oh, it's like battery acid with a fruit punch flavor pre-workout that you like never want to drink and then you finally go back to it, it's already all caked up in the container and you just throw it out. It's like a waste of money. Crackers. Ooh, nice hiss. I wish these were salted. What's the matter with them anyway, taking the salt out? But then they give you that pack of salt, like you really need all the salt. What am I supposed to even put that on anyway? I feel like eating some more of these, man. 
Gosh, I can't believe they're still good. Like, they're supposed to be so rancid that you don't... I wouldn't even put them in the tray, pretty much. Look at these charms. What a joke. Like, you're really supposed to unwrap each one of these and eat it on the go or something. Nobody ever eats these. And look what happens. I'm not even going to bother with those. You have to unwrap it. I'm not eating plastic. That's just unhealthy. It's just wrong. I'm supposed to do with that anyway. I need the wet nap. Just from touching that. I nice dirt nap. Wipe that off. Wet nap, dirt nap, moist towel that. If anybody ever calls it moist towel that and is actually serious with that, you gotta, be, you gotta wonder about them. Look at this. The perfect industrial botanical smell, like detergent smell. Probably should save a little bit of that for after I eat this meal. I guess, I guess that's what you could call it here. You can wipe this off. Gosh, that fruit punch. I don't think I want to try any more of that again. I do want to make it to old age if possible, and I'm not going to if I'm going to drink that. Mm. Yeah. These beef frankfurters, I can't even believe it. Like, what? <laughs> I can't. Whoa, it's heating up and everything. And the flameless ration here really works. Since the toilet paper. Last time it was blue. What's up with that anyway? I mean, maybe it was just for camouflage purposes if you were in a place that's blue. This doesn't, it should be green, you know, or like tan or maybe brown. So then you, you don't have to feel too bad about anything. So thin you can see through them. But like, yeah, if you if you want to know what eternity feels like, you go ahead and peel them back. And just sit there it's the equivalence of whittling a stick out on a porch and keep you occupied pretty much one of the most pointless things you could do but hey there are worse things you could be whittling yeah there's four slices right there i can't get oh i'm done with that I, I don't have the patience but take my word for it there are 20 pieces and once you undo them all it really looks like a lot of toilet paper they should give you like 50. I mean, what's up with that anyway? It's never enough. Tabasco sauce. I can't even believe that they switched it into those packs. Like, what was that all about? Probably because these things broke and they cost more to produce. But nothing like these. They'll be a collectible one day. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah. Well, this cheese isn't too bad. I mean, yeah, it's only slightly sebaceous. It's not the, it hasn't gone all the way. Let's give him some eyebrows. Now that is a sad, sad little man. We'll save this for, well, let's take a bite. Oh, the smell of this. I just wanted out of here. Actually, let's get the charms out of here. They're bad luck. In the trash. I've had charms from the 40s. Holds up better than that because they don't have air getting to them. The rest of this was built to last, and then you got that. Mm. You know what the biggest waste is with this? Reconstituting it with water. This should be illegal. Anyway. Mm. Gosh, that's like candy. Man, a little bit flew out while I was talking. It got on my tripod. Okay. Mmm. That fruit. Go ahead and wash it down. Okay, I don't know why I went back to that. Oh yeah, those are hot. Nice. Wait. Well, they're good enough, I guess. Nice and warm. I'm not. I'm hungry. I can't wait any longer. These things have been sitting in that pouch for the last 27 years. I don't think they can wait much longer either. Okay. Why is there a tear notch down there? If you tore it down there, that'd just break the the hot dogs right at the tip. Okay. Oh. Oh. They're darker. Like, what? Oh, they're smokier than... They're way smokier than before. Those are smoked hot dogs. Oh, man. Look at this. Why am I 
am I doing this again? Oh yeah. Man, those don't smell normal. They're like worse than before. Ugh. Mm. Oh man, I got stuck in my teeth. Hmm. I had such a fake, like, liquid smoke. Mmm. You know, followed up some french fries. Hot dogs and french fries. All American. The only thing you're missing is again a hot dog bun, maybe some bacon. Mmm. Okay, I'm here without a shirt. Now I don't know what shirt to wear. What are the crackers for? I mean, even we eat snack bread. If they had like a, they used to have that shelf stable bread that was issued like to the side, you know, like a box of 144 of them for no reason. But this, like what? Wow. They're a little more solid than the last ones at least. I mean, that last four fingers of death, I paid three bucks for it at a flea market. Mmm. And it's sitting out in the hot sun. It's really not too bad. Hold up. Mmm. Now we're getting gourmet. Oh, wait, we need Tabasco for something. Yeah, you know, let's put some of that on everything. Let's just splatter this all over it. Well, hopefully that does something good. Probably won't. Probably make it worse. Let's try it now. I really wish this one had the beans, you know? Ooh, yeah. Not bad. Here. Oh. Insane. Oh, that cheese spread's foul. The meal was cooked a long time ago. All right, let's see here. Oh, that's not too bad. The cheese get. It's not so overpowering because the overpowering Smoky Frank. Thought the last ones were smoky like this. Mm. Well, it's not too bad, really. I mean, it could be worse, right? I think, man, I really just wish I could have something like normal right now, but what's the fun in that though? You know, like I got a group shaped barbecue pork patty over there, I could have had that. It's like the best MRE. Mm. I don't know. I'm just going to stay on there for a while. I don't know if that's from the cheese or, hold on, the, 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 the Tabasco sauce is so vinegary and, oh man, I, probably kills germs. Hmm. Oh wow, hey, spicy hot dogs, you know those. Quick, easy to eat protein, and I don't know. Well, Mel, you always said hot dogs are brain food. If that's the case, then I guess these ranks are extra thought provoking. Mm. Lighten up all the senses, that's for sure in all the wrong ways. Here, let's just have a spoonful of fries. See, that's not so bad. Maybe you have a, maybe you could like put these into the pouch with the cheese and just mash it, you know? Mix it up and, hmm. See what happens. Oh. Oh, hot sauce, man. Mm. Yeah. The uh, 
like this. Seems normal enough. Yeah. Um, Alright. I don't want to eat any more of this. This is disgusting. I think it's actually hold on. Oh, it's really not that bad. I've had I've had school lunch worse than this back in the day. Those old pizzas, those square pizzas. I'd, I'd pay good money for an old cafeteria school lunch though. Like if I just go back in time with it. A little half pint of milk. I don't know if you know how I'm doing a layer. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not eating that last little bit. Let's set this over here. I feel like it's just gonna fly off the tray. I've never dropped this tray before. Like, why did they bring them back? Nah, they're really juicy and nah, juicy to the squeeze. Uh -oh. Let's get the juice out. Oh, look at the color. Look at that. Well, I said I wasn't going to eat that. I didn't need to. What was the point? I don't have to prove anything. All the different things I've eaten. I don't have to eat this at all. And I'm not going to. Maybe just a little bit for the road. Gotta be well fed. Sometimes in life, you just gotta eat a solid meal. And oh, that's cheese. Let me wipe that. Oh, that's so gross. You got on my fingers. Okay, go ahead and have a nice little bite. Of, I cannot believe this is fine. Everybody watching this, this is a real wonder with food storage that this is okay. Mm. That's the best part of the MRE. Well, I lied. This is. But that's dessert. And to get the taste out for the rest of this, oh, mm. I don't know what they put in there to make it last that long. I think it's just it got lucky. That's really all it is. Well, this was definitely an adventure. Not too sure if it was a good one or not, but one to remember. Okay. Petition to bring back the freeze-dried fruit. Everybody wants them back. Who cares if you ate a bunch of them? They give you, like, gastrointestinal discomfort. I mean, look at the rest of the meal. and do it anyway. Hmm. Well, that was a doozy. Oh, wait, the gum. I don't need that. Wait, you gotta be careful. It's not mint. That's a fruit flavor right there. Let's just squeeze this one more time just to say we did. Wait. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Well, between that quarter master core substance research laboratory and Natick Food Labs, they came up with the most amazing shell stable food. And in the end, you got those little Franks and then Emery pizza. That's pretty cool. You can definitely say it's a lot better than some World War I rations. Like everybody saw when I opened and ate that thing. I'd do some hard bread soon. I mean, like throughout the 20s and 30s, this thing didn't change much. They threw in some worthless brownie in there and it was disgusting. And they split these hard bread tins in half and it's pointless. Like, just. Changing the shapes of the tins of corned beef and whatnot, and, and that sea ration was your first. Like here's, a, here's like prototype era U.S. Army field ration type C. That's your first mobile on the go without like being overly bulky. It was still bulky. That's why they it was too big a portion. That's why they shrunk it down in '41. Expanded out coffee, lemon, cocoa, and whatnot. Look at that beaut.
still too bulky. That's why the K ration was so cool, you know, like, I mean, this is your first ration with toilet paper, light up your cigarettes and some chewing gum and whatnot. Highly mobile ration. This is the MRE's grandfather. And then after that, they went ahead and, you know, I got all this stuff up here, like, you know, they came up with some 24 hour C rations like that. Well, that thing's rare. You know, and then RCI, that's RIC, ration individual combat, ration combat individual. C rations with the 58, 59, your first major production, July 60s, my oldest, 62, 67, 66. And then MCI went up till 1980. And right behind it, the prototype case, man, major production started 81 for that MRE, really. Not 1980, but the 80, 82. Just a two year inspection, not three. So those are weird. That's meal ready E individual. This is your prototype of the MRE. Meal ready E individual, menu number four. But, you know, they advance all this food just to get up to some disgusting hot dogs. You know, at least they came up with that pizza in 2018, because this is from 1918. That'd be 100 years. I just can't find my MRE pizza, but, you know, I got one. Just watch that video. You, you know what's up. Like, oh, man, I'm back over here again. Anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video, and I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. All right, cool. See ya.